Greetings from San Diego, California. This interactive multinational teleconference is reaching you live in English, Spanish, and Portuguese through a unique and complex international telecommunications network via satellite, microwave, and cable. This program brings together distinguished institutions representing education, business, and government in more than a dozen countries in the Americas and Europe. We look forward to hearing from you all. This is the ninth International Training Center video conference of the year 2004 series entitled Success with World-Class Competencies. I'm Dr. Farhad Saba, Professor of Educational Technology at San Diego State University and the moderator of today's program. The global information economy and its marketplace are motivating people to reshape how they organize themselves around the world. Major corporations are currently experimenting with organizational models that will allow them to remain competitive in a rapidly changing environment. Educational institutions, businesses, government and civil society must re-examine their relationships and futures. There is a growing consensus that the real competitive advantage lies in education, imagination and creativity which leads to breakthrough ideas and initiatives that are implemented with a world-class level productivity. The resulting products and services ultimately add value to the marketplace and contribute a stronger global society. This exciting video conference will review the current processes of change and uncertainty that we face today within our organizations and communities, emphasizing the strategies and competencies that directly foster innovation and world-class productivity. A large volume of literature has focused on recent years in descriptive analysis of the conditions and settings ideal for supporting new ideas, failing to discuss, in most cases, the practical guidelines actually necessary for organizational reinvention and for developing the human skills required in such a process. The latter includes emotional intelligence, media and information technology competence, and the ability to manage and lead with a global perspective. It is urgent that we leap from theory to practice so that we can truly implement creative action and achieve world-class performance. In module one of today's program entitled Leading Change with Creativity in the Global Economy, our distinguished speaker, Mr. St uh, Stuart Emery, will describe the dynamics of change in today's organizations and will provide you with leadership skills to recognize and address the effects of such transformative experiences on individuals and teams. In Module 2, Mr. Emery will focus on current revolutionary developments in the workplace that have been brought about primarily by automation and will introduce the concept of language action perspective as a means to develop professional communication skills for creating common understanding among all players at a time of rapid change. Stuart Emery is president of Belvedere Consultants Incorporated, an international management consulting firm that works primarily with key executives and senior management teams of Fortune 500 companies. Core competencies include executive team development, management and leadership development, strategy formulation, executive coaching and cultural and organizational change. Mr. Emery is the best-selling author of the books You Don't Have to Rehearse to Be Yourself, 
and the owner's manual to your, to your life. Millions of people in the United States and around the world have been touched by his writing and radio and television appearances. Tens of thousands of people have attended his workshops, seminars, and speaking engagements during the last two decades. Mr. Emery studied economics, philosophy, and psychology at the University of Sydney before pursuing a career in the advertising arts. He served as a creative director of J. Walter Thompson's Sydney office and taught design at the University of New South Wales. Thank you and welcome to today's program. Good morning. Let me begin with a question. It is no exaggeration to say that almost uh, everything in, uh, is in a state of flux in our environment. Professional relationships, equipment and software that we use, terminologies, everything. Uh, so, uh, in our situation today, where everything is changing, however, we are also creatures of habit and desire certainty. Is it possible uh, for us to cope with changes that we have brought upon ourselves? And can we really propose general formulas for implementing and managing change in organizations applicable around the world? In 25 words or less, Two yes. questions, yes. Two questions. <laughs> so, um, it seems to me that we tend to justify the need for change by focusing what isn't working. You know, I think those of us who have an engineering bent are experts at solving problems. If we only focus on what isn't working, we tend to get more of what isn't working. So we've found people who cope with change more easily and more rapidly than other people, and the same with organizations that are able to change uh, more rapidly and more effectively than those that don't, share it a characteristic of taking with them into the future the best of the past. In other words, they say, let's look at what we do well. What can we be world class at? And how do we have resources to unleash that? And then they build change initiatives on strengths rather than being obsessed with weaknesses. And we find individuals who do that do more easily with change. Great. Thank you for your thoughtful response. Let's begin with the first module of today's program.